Welcome back to another FSD beta test video. Today, I head back to downtown San Jose with version 8.2 to see how well the system reacts to a second stress test in this challenging city. We also experience a very pesky left turn, but we give the Tesla three attempts to solve the puzzle, so stay tuned. And as always, make sure to smack that like button if you enjoy the content. It was a little swervy right there, but it eventually did get us in the proper lane, and we are here. Okay, we pulled a little bit close to that truck. But, but I mean, we got us around, and it wasn't cl it was close enough where I felt uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it wasn't dangerous. Yeah, it was trying to change lanes at the last second coming up to this light, even though we have four more blocks until we have to turn. And I would really like it if Tesla actually did program it in not to change lanes when you're within X amount of feet of an intersection if you don't have to change at that intersection. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not a fault of the car per se because we could have made that change. I just did it disengaged because I just didn't want to put myself in that situation in a sense of just my own ill regard, not even the people around me because they would have let me over. Yeah, the truck was letting us over. We just would have ended up probably at kind of a funny angle coming up to the light. So right here we need to turn right, however there is not actually enough room for us to turn right, so the Tesla is doing a perfect job of waiting until we have enough room. Now there's pedestrian crossing, it waits for the pedestrian, yeah. Recognized him and now here we go, quickly. and actually a really smooth and good duration of time, it just went. Right here, put our blinker on. We're changing lanes. Did a good job. I'm curious why it did that because as soon as we made the last right turn, it put its signal on and went into the left lane and then stayed in the left lane for a little bit and then went right back into the right lane. I don't know why I put us in the right lane because in 0.6 miles, we're making a left hand turn. Right here, the road decided to be so rough it actually broke the mount on my camera. So if you see a little bit of shakiness, that is why. However, I just tried to stabilize it with software. However, next week's video will have a new mount. Once we turn left on this road, the video quality significantly improves. All right, here we are doing a lane change. Did a good job. It was a very tight squeeze, um, but the car behind us let us come. Um, right now it's trying to turn us into the right lane, but I'm not sure why, because we have to turn left in 0.1 miles. Back in the right lane. Oh, we have to make a right hand turn. I don't know why, because it says left hand turn here. And now we're going to make a left hand turn, I guess. Yeah, that's the next direct. This is the first one that's the subsequent one. Alright, well, we will probably play a little dance there with changing lanes. It goes to show you that Tesla's are really good at changing lanes. And we actually made the left hand turn we needed to make. Just, it was an interesting dance it decided to make. Just wanted to, you know, show off its lane changing abilities. Yeah, I right? That, I think it was just showing off because all of its lane changes were fine. It just did a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's waiting for our turn, it says. There we go. Now your destination. So right here we have a car actually double parked. Tesla is actually going around it. Right yeah, turn right around the double parked car. No problems. Yeah. Making a right hand turn here. Coming to a stop. It's pausing and waiting for a turn. It says on the screen. Now it's creeping for visibility according to the screen. Yeah, oncoming traffic does not have a stop sign. That is correct. It judged that white, uh, that black car, and we made the turn after the intersection became clear. Okay. 
I have to admit that the Teslas doing a really good job at labeling and detecting all these parked cars. I know in past iterations, these cubes would oftentimes like shift kind of like these are that are farther mm -hmm. away. But the ones actually in our drivable space are really a lot more solid. And uh, it's doing a good job in terms of the steering to kind of go a little bit more left and uh, avoid these objects while also staying a good um, distance from the white dotted line. Yeah, it's, it's comfortably centering itself. I mean, in its defense, too, these are these two are behind a fence. Yeah, <laughs> a like, parking lot that we can't even get access to. Yeah, it's. I'm kind of impressed that it recognizes them at all. So right there, there's actually a palm tree, giant leaf in the road. The Tesla, I don't know if it detected it, but it actually went around it as mm -hmm. if there was an object there. So that was pretty impressive. I was actually going to take over and go around it, but it did it for me. Yeah. All right, we need to go down this road, but it took us down okay. this road. But I mean, that's all right. It, it's uh, it's a very hard road to understand. Quickly correcting itself, and now we're gonna get a left to go back onto the road we need to get to. Okay, now it thinks this is the stop sign, but it quickly reset itself and now it's going. For a, for a second there it said stopping for traffic control and zero feet, uh, okay. but then it corrected itself to 75 feet. Got it. So that car is stopped to so turn thing. left. So I'm going to give it the go pedal because there is a car here, but they're turning left and the Tesla didn't realize that even though they were in the middle of the road that they were turning left. Guys, this is a hard maneuver. We're going to try it three times, so stay tuned to see how it does. We're in the left hand. We need to go left here, but um, we're not on the left hand turn lane. So I'm going to have to take over and go here because it's green. All right, so we re-engaged full self-driving because we missed that turn. And we need to turn left there, but then it put us in a straight lane. So we've corrected, and now we're seeing what it can do. So it kind of, you know, put us a little bit farther right than we needed to be, but it's pausing for visibility. I'm gonna give it the go pedal, cause we can go. And it made it turn pretty good. So there are people in the crosswalk, but they're not quite close enough for us to have to stop for them. So we are continuing. So this was actually the place where we had the stop sign goof earlier. We came back into the full circle. So now we gotta retry. Let's see if this time we get in the left hand turn lane. Okay, this time there's no one turning. There was just someone in that crosswalk that... The um, same crosswalk where someone was turning earlier. Yep. So now it has us in the far right lane. We need to turn left here. Now turn left onto Balbox Street. And once again, it put us in the straight lane when we need to go left. But that's partly probably because of road design. We It's a three lane road, so when we make the turn, we're in the far right lane. And the AI system probably doesn't know that it needs to, probably doesn't think it has enough room to cut across three entire lanes to get into the left hand turn lane in such a short period of time. It does clearly recognize, as based on these arrows, that you know, we're in a middle lane and the lane to the to our left is the turn lane. We'll, uh, we'll run that one more time and see how it does. All right, so now we've reset full self-driving. We're gonna go back for the same exact loop again. This time is actually making this right-hand turn a lot better, put us in better positioning. It's clear to go, and now the car is going, which is great. It's creeping forward for visibility. Light turn green. Um, for some reason there, we came to a near full stop, but it quickly decided to start going again. Right, there's a bicyclist right in front of us. Um, so the Tesla is deciding to go around the bicycle 
cross in the double yellow, which is exactly what I would do. I'd cross the double yellow. Yeah, you're technically not supposed to cross the double yellow, but for safety, everyone does. And I think that's, in general, a, in that situation, it was a responsible thing to do. So now we're stopping because there's people in the crosswalk, but now the people have finished the crosswalk, the biker has come up. The Tesla saw the biker coming up to our side, but now that we're, there's no biker, I don't know why it's still pausing. But here we go. Okay, third time's the charm on this one. Yeah, let's try this one. Third time is the charm. Let's see what happens. There is a truck coming from our left. The Tesla sees it and slows down. We now have clear visibility on our left, no one coming. So this time we are slowing down a lot. Okay, will it make it? Now turn left. On. Oh, there we, we go. We made it to the left-hand turn lane. It took its time. It struggled a little bit, but it did scan the road, and that was probably a lot of calculations it had to make, and it eventually got us on the third try. Here we are. Mm-hmm. Amazon delivery truck right in front of us. Um, We're going around it. It actually didn't slow down or anything. It didn't hesitate. It just went right around it. Yeah, yeah. It probably had some good visibility around because it was safe to go and it um, it went at a really smooth, quick speed. No complaints there. So I've reset full self driving on a different stretch of road here in San Jose. As you can see already, compared to the last San Jose video I did, I believe roughly two weeks ago. 8.2 is doing a lot better. Although, of course, right when I say that, it did stop, I wanna say, what was that, maybe 25 feet before the mm -hmm. line. There is another line that we are, that's probably right where my feet are right now, underneath my butt, there is a line, but uh, that's not the line to stop. I don't know why that line's there. It's probably for the railroad crossing indication. So as I was saying though before that, it, it's evident that FSD 8.2 is doing a lot better this time than in my test video two weeks ago. So I'm, I'm actually uh, pretty impressed. Um, we've taken some of the same roads and overall it's doing a lot better. And do you know why that might be? Do they push little updates to these even uh, on the same version? I'm actually not aware of that. If anyone at home knows or has any answer to that, please comment down below if you know if they do push out tiny little updates. I mean, I have not downloaded anything, so obviously nothing's mm -hmm. happened, but you never know what could happen on the cloud. Or if maybe just it learns on its own without it even gaining an update push because the neural network and AI does work that way. I have a feeling that it does learn a little bit on its own because we've noticed that it does better the second time around on a lot of situations. So right now we are still creeping forward. We've been creeping for a while. I'm just gonna hit the go pedal. That entire time we could have gone. Nice. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That handled that turn and this lane change absolutely perfectly. Like, yeah, especially I, since there were no lane lines there. Yeah, no lines. Two cars in front of us. That is one thing I will comment is that on that video where we did the same left-hand turn three times, there weren't really any lanes. There was literally two bike lanes, I believe, that looked like that went through the three lanes, mm -hmm. and everything was just all jagged from all the new construction going on. So that's probably why the car also had a hard time reading it. Yeah, I was thinking that too. There was this, like, they had painted over the lane lines in black to move them, but the way we were looking at it, the light was reflecting off the black paint and it looked like it was another lane. And we're quite literally right where we started the test. So uh, just like that, we've done an entire loop of the city. And now we're gonna take a right-hand turn and see how it does. really good. Oh, it was good. Now your destination we, is uh, on the line. Let's wait for it to see where it parks us. I'm curious. So it's pretty evident that on our second test of San Jose using Tesla's full self-driving beta 8.2 that uh, it did a lot better. We've had some hiccups, especially in places like Oakland. Last time in San Jose, we did have a, a few hiccups as well, but it overall did good. This time I want to say it, it really did a lot better. What would you say? What was your opinion on it? I mean, we did have that time where it took three loops around to make the left turn, but beyond that, um, it was it was definitely a big improvement over last time. 
Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the content, smash that like button as well. Click the videos on your screen right now to see more full self-driving videos. Thank you for watching.